What up, homies? Today we were talking about EBNF and railroad diagrams. So firstly, EBNFs. What are EBNFs? Essentially, EBNFs is a code that expresses the grammar for a formal language. But the formal language can be a programming language such as JavaScript, C Sharp, and Python, etc. EBNF works by using production rules of non-terminal and terminal <coughs> production rules, where the production rules are the definitions. Where it governs how the, the, those terminals and non-terminal symbols are organized and sequenced. For example, in this line, we see that the product of digit is being defined by a set of numbers between 1 to 9, where the digit is considered as a non-terminal and the numerical values are considered as terminals. Railroad diagrams, or otherwise known as syntax diagrams, are a visual way of representing or defining a grammatical rules of language or even data types. These diagrams are graphical alternative for EBNF, but are written as metalanguages. In a railroad diagram, it starts off with the basics of defining the simplest units of the programming language. An example of this would be digits and letters to start off with, then going to words, numbers, stated variables, and finally statements which only the language can define in the used terms. To read railroad diagrams, it must be always started from the left, following the flow of the diagram to the right. Railroad diagrams cannot go backwards unless there is an array indicating it, which is mainly seen in the loop. Uh, what is a metalanguage? The basic meaning of a metalanguage is language that is used to analyse language. From a programming language's perspective, it is used to have a statement made in regarding other statements made in another language, which is known as an object language. By using meta-languages, it helps to outline the objects, con concepts, and grammar which in any terminology that is relevant to the programming language, as it will guide the programmers with the language design and implementation. The meta-language represents the syntax or rules of the programming language. Uh, let's begin talking about the notations of the EMF. First, we got the equal signs, which means definition. Where, when it's where it uses it as a way to define what a product represents, where in the case of digit, represents the number between 1 and 9. Next, we use the comma, which is named concatenation, which is used to represent leaking statements, where, the, where in this example, the statement digit excluding 0 is linked with the next statement of the possible repetition of digit. Then we have semicolons, which are named terminations. Similar to C-sharp coding, terminations are used to define the end of a definition or product, where in this example, we can see that the integer definition ends after the natural number non-terminal definition. Then we have the vertical line symbol, named alternation. And once again, similar to C-sharp coding, it is used as an or statement to separate between two possible outcomes, where in this example, we see that an integer can either equal the value of zero or a positive or negative natural number. This one uses an open and closed square bracket and is named optional, where it means the terminal and non-terminals that are in it can occur or not, depending on the situation. Where in this example, we can see that if the integer is a natural number, the optional segment is being used for the negative symbol meaning that the natural number can be a negative value. To have an optional choice within the railroad diagram, it is drawn to allow for the terminal or non-terminal to be passed around it with a line around it, or to use the other option of using the statement within the circle or rectangle. In the first example, it allows for the choice of multiple outputs such as k equals dm and k equals d. Here in the second example, it has the choice for the final outputs to be a digit with a 0 to 9 or to have a signed integer with the minus symbol or any digit between 0 and 9. Next, we're going to have curly brackets that are named repetition, which are used when typically a non-terminal determines any amount of the following digits, including 0. These are good to use when dealing with definitions that may have a large numerical value or are going to be repeated. For repetition to occur within a railroad diagram, there can either be a curved line under the terminal or non-terminal statement, or the terminal or non-terminal to be evidential within the curved line. 
As seen here in the first example, a terminal letter, um, the terminal of the letter E is in the main rail railroad with a curved line coming off which allows for the letter E to be repeated. Since the terminal is um, located on the main line, it shows the item or terminal to be repeated one or more times. In the second example, there is no terminal, there is no terminal or non-terminal on the main line, but the terminal letter of E is actually placed on the curved loop line, which means that there could be a possible repetition. As there is no declaration for the number of times this will be repeated in both examples, the process of this happening, for, process of this can happen for an unlimited amount of time until it passes repetition. Next, we have grouping. Oh, then we have parentheses, which represents grouping, which are mainly used to group different terminals and non-terminals together and isolate them from other ones. When in this example, minute is being determined by either the values of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which are grouped, and then a digit value at the end. For grouping to occur in a railroad diagram, there can be separate curved lines that detach from the main line, which allows for the terminal or non-terminal statement to be possibly called. As seen in the first example, it gives the choice of either a plus or minus integer to, um, to be chosen before the digit is selected. Some of the outputs in this railroad include R equals negative digit and R equals positive digit. But for the second example, there is an option for none of the grouping terminals to be used and only for a digit to be selected. Some of the outputs for this example would be p equals digit, p equals positive digit, and lastly, p equals minus digit. Oh. The speech quotation marks are used to represent terminals, which are used to define regular expressions, which can include the negative or positive symbol, slash symbol, letters from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9, etc. However, in a more broader term, they're, they're that have a higher function slightly outside of EBNF. These applications of terminals can be seen within a programming language, such as c -sharp, which are typically seen within EBNF. These include identifiers, which are the names used for functions, methods, variables, classes, etc. Typically, different programming languages will have certain rules about these identifiers in terms of their grammatical notation. For example, within c -sharp, when considering this variable, uh, bo public boolean boolean equals false, uh, we have to make sure of four rules when determining an identifier. First, it cannot be the same name as a C sharp keyword. So in this instance, the identifier boolean is not allowed. Secondly, an identifier must begin with a letter, with letter an at symbol or an underscore symbol. Finally, it must also not have white spaces in between, nor can it have symbols unless an at symbol is used at the beginning as in prefix. Another term we use, use would be keywords, which using the example of C sharp, an exact string that are used to identify, as used to identify the start of a definition. Some of these keywords include public, private, switch, for each, enum, etc. The final three common terminals used are separators and eliminators, which include colons, semicolons, commas, parentheses, curly brackets, square brackets, etc. Then we have white spaces, new lines, and tabs, to then finally code commenting, where most pro modern programming languages have inbuilt code commenting. Okay. The terminal symbol is used for the alphabet of the language for building of the statement. If there is an item that cannot be defined in any more detail, and there is no more lower syntax diagrams defining the item any further than the item will put in the circle. As said in the EBNF, a ter terminal symbol is enclosed with the use of quotation marks, but on a railroad diagram this is being represented by having it written in a circle. An example of this would be if the digit of 0 to 9 was written as an EBNF and the format between the quotation marks. It would appear within multiple circles on a railroad diagram as there is no loop seen within this example. Only one digit can be chosen to continue on with the railroad. When discussing about non-terminals, they are essentially a collection of terminals and other non-terminals that are organized and sequenced in a particular way, or in a simpler definition, a predefined product. In this example, we see that the integer is our non-terminal, that we are going to define and through using a sequence use of terminals and non-terminals, where in this example, it's through the terminals of zero, 
and its alternation of an optional terminal negative value and its linking statement of a non-terminal being a natural number. These terminals then can be used as a repeat, repeated through other non-terminal products to further de develop and define your grammar and language, such as in the identifier, where it uses two non-terminal terminals as the product, where it must have an alphabetical character at the start, then a repetition of either more alphabetical characters or an integer. A non-terminal symbol is allowed for an item to be abbreviated where the item has more information included, but is within another railroad diagram. This statement is also seen um, in a rectangle. Here in the example below, the term digit has been called in this diagram where another diagram is called and searched through for a suitable digit. Once a digit is called, there is an option for a loop to occur. If this loop does occur, another, another digit will be included until the loop is passed and continued on the diagram. Finally, we have a combination of parentheses and asterisks, which similar to code commenting C-sharp, are used for people to determine a certain part of what their EBNF does and its purpose, mainly for referencing. And there's an example shown there. That's the end. We did it, boys. We got him. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, boys. Yeehaw.